Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, and look what we've got today. Royal Enfield Classic 350, Halcyon Green. It's got the bags. Something with the shocks is different, but look at this. It's got this, and this is what I wanted to see. The little windshield. Now, I want to see what that's all about. So uh, I'm going to gear up and we're going to go for a ride. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. One of the big differences about this bike with my other motorcycles is when I go to a gas pump, I don't fret about how to get into the gas station. With my Himalayan, which is so tall, or with my Triumph, which is so large, I have to make a plan to get in there to get the pump I want and what I, you know, what I need. This is a bike that is good for the soul. Good for the soul. A relaxing machine for sure. We're going to do our spin test right here today because there's lots of traffic over yonder. Look at that, huh? This thing has uh, 20 horsepower, 20 foot-pounds of torque, but it's all right at idle. Look at this gravel right here. <laughs> good thing this bike is uh, very hand, you know, good to handle. 349 cc engine, air-cooled, oil-cooled, single cylinder, single overhead cam, two valves, beautiful five-speed transmission. I mean, absolutely beautiful. The more I ride mine, the, the, the more I love it. I've got, uh, I think I'm at 4,200 miles on mine right now. There's the tale about the infills that as the miles rack up, the bikes seem to run better. That is actually true. Once I hit about 900 miles, it really started to feel a lot different. And once I got to uh, 2,500, it was really quite the bike. Very different handling. No one behind us, look at this. Just absolutely, absolutely perfect. We're gonna do just a little bit of highway so we can test this windshield out, see how it feels. My good friend Gary, who used to own this bike, Tells me that it keeps the uh, air off your chest. Pretty good pickup, isn't it? Look at that, 40, 45, 50 miles an hour. Very good. I love riding mine. I ride mine everywhere. Two lane block tops, everywhere I go. It's just a beautiful little machine for that. So we're going close to 60, and I believe he's absolutely right. It does keep it off your chest. I'm not getting any helmet buffeting. No, I'm not. It's actually very good. I like it a lot. Very beautiful color. This Halcyon Green is just amazing. I love the way this looks in the front here. That aluminum nacelle on the front, cast aluminum nacelle. They call it a cassette, but it's a, you know, the minimalist gauge system. That's one of the things, that's actually an attribute of this bike. Uh, it's both a plus and a minus, I call it. It's a minus in that it, you know, it's a limited amount of information, but it's a plus in that it's a limited amount of information. You're not constantly monitoring it and babying it. And since it's down flat, you have to actually look down to see it. The 350 Royal Infills are just the most well-behaved motorcycles out there right now. So predictable, so easy going, maneuverable, low, ultra low center of gravity. I can't say enough good about them. I absolutely love mine. I think that windshield is nice. I think that windshield is nice. That did very good on the road here. Look at this, just spins right along. <laughs> like a dream, like a dream. Another thing, I, you know, I just used the clutch here, and there I just use it again. Another thing about this bike are the clutch levers, clutch and brake levers. They've got a nice swoop to them, they've got a good radius on the edges, and they've got a nice wide platform where your fingers hold. And you really should get the back cycle and try some out. And they go very well with these barrel shaped grips right here. These barrel shaped grips are copies of uh, old Amal style grips. You know, this is a classic motorcycle. There's a lot of classic uh, detail in here. Other things up here, past the flash button right here in the left, and then the high lows, blinkers, and then below that, the horn. On the right side is a kill switch, run switch, and also a rocker switch that hits the starter, and then the uh, hazard lights. Down here, you got the analog speedometer, a fuel gauge, and then you've got a, a clock, a trip meter, a, a trip meter B, and a uh, odometer. And that is controlled by the information button over here on the left. And then something I always forget to mention is down here on the bottom, below the uh, gear, there's a little USB port. It's sealed, so it's waterproof. And it's active as long as the bike is running, as long as the key's on the, the uh, USB port is running. Beautiful, beautiful. I use mine for grocery getting. I use mine for around town. I use mine if I have to go to the post office or to the uh, grocery store or to the, you know, anything, hardware store. It's just an all-around motorcycle for me. In the afternoon or evening, if I want to go for a little spin, I'll uh, 
hop on that bike and take back roads, you know, and see all kinds of neat things. The bike is silent. It's got plenty of juice. I like to say they'll do anything but go fast. So they're very enjoyable. And they handle so well. Let's do the hill spin test here. No traffic coming. Look at this, huh? It, this is the best bike for that. This, the Hunter and the uh, Meteor, they just do this so, so well. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over here to the Derailed Grill right there. Good eats, good eats. I like it. I like it a lot. This one is a particularly good looking motorcycle. The Halcyons are probably the best as far as paint goes. Absolutely gorgeous. The copper stripe, the raised lettering, the, you know, the speckled paint. Loads of fun to ride, loads of fun to ride. And look at this, it just spins around in a circle like nobody's business. <laughs> I just love these things. I just love them. Beautiful. Just works of art. Little pleasant little motorcycle. If you're in the market for a new used Royal Enfield Triumph or British bike of any type, classic bike of any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle and the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. They can help you out. They've got parts, accessories, gear, billfolds, scarves, you name it, they got it. Backpacks. Give those guys a call. Ask for Jeremy or Mark or Amanda or Randy and tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. It's really a treat to ride a different one than mine. Just to see how, you know, they, they've got the same very relaxing qualities. That's something I call, I call mine the Zenfield because it's, uh, I went on a ride here a while back. I was pretty, uh, had a pretty rough day. And I went on a 200 mile ride within 50 miles. I remember literally asking myself, what was I upset about? What was I upset about? And, you know, it didn't matter. It didn't, couldn't remember and it didn't matter. <laughs> it's just a very calming motorcycle. Nandun, I think, is the guy. See some Indian guru that, you know, breathes motorcycle. He uh, talks about the revs of the engine and the, you know, matching the beat of the heart and all that neat stuff. And uh, that sounds kind of crazy until you start riding one of these. There's really a lot to it. That is Motorcycle Park, and uh, I think we're going to go to a different spot today. Alrighty, it's got a 349cc single overhead cam, air-cooled, oil-cooled engine. Puts out about 20 horsepower, 20 foot-pounds of torque. That's 27 newton meters. It's got a five-speed transmission on this side. This is one of the best five-speeds out there, in my, my opinion. Uh, the one on my bike just gets better and better by the day. It's got the 300 millimeter disc on the front, dual piston vibries, anti-lock brakes. 41 uh, millimeter forks with the 5.1 inches of travel. It's about 130 millimeters. The front wheel is a 190-19. The rear wheel is a 120-80-18. Just a beautiful little thing, isn't it? Spoke wheels, of course, on this one. You can get the cast wheels for it if you'd like. Uh, Baxter Cycle has those in stock. Wheelbase is 54.7 inches. That's 1,389 millimeters. Ground clearance 6.7 inches, 170 millimeters. Seat height, and this is really hard to believe, and I'd like to measure this, 31.7 inches or 105 millimeters. Now, the bike is super narrow, and uh, that's seat height higher than my Himalayan has now in stock form. Now, this feels so much lower to the ground and easier, and easier to manage than my Himalayan. Weight, 430 pounds, that's 195 kilograms, that's wet. Fuel tank, 3.4 gallons, 13 liters. Just a beautiful little bike. Now, this one has what I wanted to test on it was the windshield. It did keep the wind off my body. I do like it. If you like the look of it, and I think it is a good looking windshield, it's a, it's worth the effort, worth the money. It also, it did not create buffeting for my helmet for me. Uh, they also put the bags on this one. Uh, these are the same bags I have on mine. These bags will actually double. There's an insert that you pull up. And uh, I use my grocery shopping all the time because heaven forbid to take a car, right? But isn't that just a beautiful machine? Just look at that. And uh, you know, it's really well made. The fork tubes are covered. That's metal. That's metal. This is metal. I mean, look at that. Black, copper, green, you know. This little cover here. Little eyebrow over this. Now, check these out. We call these tiger eyes or pilot lights. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Here's the levers. I was talking about that on the ride. The radius and, of course, the grips. Beautiful windshield. Beautiful dashboard. And then, of course, the tank knee pads, this little covering here. This is a 3D thing. This actually jump up at you. There's a, these are up significantly. Look at that. You can really see the difference. Chrome tap, very comfortable seat. I love the big chrome muffler on this one. Gorgeous. 
know, everything on this is metal. These these side covers are metal. Metal. Every little bit of it, you know. I have had mine at gas stations before and had people ask me what year it is. When I, when I tell them it's a 22, they, you know, they want to argue with me sometimes. It's uh, But it is a modern motorcycle. It's just a beautiful machine. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or British bike of some type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle. Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Now, it's a beautiful day and I'm gonna go ride. You all do the same, wahoo.